Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of the JD Way. I don't know why I say that, but like I say that as though like this is a TV show, but this is an episode nonetheless. And uh well, as hopefully you can tell, but it's um snowing out here. Um oh, that does not sound good. <laughs> that scraping is just mm, delicious. Um, let's see how the Prius fares in light snow and ice. And um, I'm excited. Um, I've been wanting to test this for some time. But I've got some different tires on here. So far, it seems to do. It seems to be doing pretty well. It seems to do better when there is light dusting of snow than if it just was sloshier, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know why, but that's just how it feels. So far, it seems to be faring pretty well. The ride is smooth. It doesn't feel jarring. I mean, of course, this isn't barely anything. I mean, on the screen, it doesn't look like much, but I can definitely reassure you it is really slick out there it's nice like this everybody's off the road although it does make me wonder if I should have gotten the all-wheel drive Prius back when it launched because I probably could have used it in some cases because I noticed that when I'm going up a hill or excuse me I'm going up an incline even ever so slightly it there it's it's challenging for this car because much of the weight is rather in you know it's in the back rather than in the front and that can be very challenging to get up a hill even when it's not snowing it, when it's just raining it's like it feels like all of the weight just shifted to the back and above and over the rear axle, which is not ideal. It's, it's really frustrating sometimes. Because when I'm turning around the corner or I'm turning the corner, even like right here when it was raining, it just like, you know, the power wants to go to um, the wheel with the least amount of traction, and that's just how she goes. Wow, that's just how she goes. That was profound. And while I'm driving, people keep texting me and, you know, about things that don't matter, and I'm over here like, bro, I'm trying to drive in this weather. I don't even know what you would call it. But yeah, there, see? When, it's, when I'm accelerating in the snow, it seems to do just fine. And mind you, that wasn't a whole lot of snow, but it seemed to do just fine. I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas. Oh, traction control kicked in a little bit. Probably hit some ice. Slow down here. I'm noticing that the, the truck in front of us, uh, it doesn't look like it's very close, but I can reassure you, he's like three or four car lengths away from me and he's like two car lengths maybe one away from the car that was in front of it so so I, I so we should drive a little bit more careful because I don't know what's happening well this video is very short you guys I just wanted to show you just how it fares or how it does in inclement weather and it seems to do fine it's nothing to run home to mommy about, but this video is, it's gotta be short because there's nothing real, there's no substance here. So I guess I'll just end it here. Or actually, you know what? I do live up and down a hill and I guess we can see how, how this car handles when it's going up and down the hill. So I guess we'll, I guess we'll, you know, check that out, but I'll be right back you guys. All right, so here we are at an incline. Um, I'm traveling approximately 30 miles per hour, 
and this is a 40 mile an hour zone. Um, I've got um, engine braking on so that way I can use the engine to slow the car down rather than my brakes. So far, so good. The ride is smooth. Seems to grip well. Here we go, a slightly steeper incline. Okay. Gave it a little bit of gas. Seems to fare pretty well. It, it did well. Um, it's got to slow down. And this sign right here, I know you can't see it, but it's 40, or maybe you can. And I'm going about 28 miles an hour. And I know that's really slow, but here in Beaverton, um, it's, it can be, you know, the police can and will pull you over if they feel that you are driving faster than what conditions, you know, the conditions allow. So if, you know, they would consider it speeding. Even if you are driving 40 miles an hour on a 45 and it's pouring down rain and you can't see more than two car lengths ahead, they can pull you over for speeding because you can't see more than two car lengths ahead. And here, if you are, you know, driving 30 miles an hour on a 45 and it's really, really slick or icy out and you don't have snow tires or chains or road socks or whatever it is that you want to use, um, then you then it can be considered speeding and they can pull you over and give you a citation for that. So you, so be mindful of the laws that you are. Oh, here we go. So it looks pretty, I'm gonna give it some gas. Oh, no, it seems to do just fine. Maybe the roads aren't super icy over here. giving it a little bit of gas so that way I can keep climbing up the hill I don't want to be stuck up on the hill okay. now when I reach the crest I gotta, gotta slow down because we have no idea who's jaywalking out here in this weather jerks going about 35 I'm slowing down sometimes people run across the road up here it's really frustrating this light likes to turn red soon so so as you can see, you see like how the road like the decline is pretty steep so I've got a crest back there oh and look right over here to the right there are cops. Okay. The Popo. The 5 -O. I wonder why they call them the 5 -O. Well, here we are in Beaverton, Oregon on Murray Boulevard. Thanks for watching, you guys. I know this video wasn't super exciting, but this is a Prius. It's not like a BMW or a Maserati. This isn't like, you know, Doug DeMuro where he makes everything exciting with his catchphrase this is a 2020 Toyota Prius Prime and he's got his quirks and features you know this, this is just JD Way being JD Way driving around in a Prius but again thank you thank you thank you so much for subscribing and thank you for watching this really lengthy and boring video but hopefully you get some you know idea of how well this car drives in the snow um, or ice or what ha what have you but um, it does pretty well if you have any questions comments or concerns please feel free to give me a, uh, a please feel free to leave uh, a comment below let me know what you guys think like the, how does your Prius drive do you guys use snow tires uh, do you guys use studded tires studless tires um, is your Prius all-wheel drive let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching you guys have a wonderful wonderful night and happy Valentine's Day